What's on Your Mind is sponsored by ACC 339.0, New Star Radio, 98.7 FM, Breakthrough Studios, and Reggae Jam Jam. Good afternoon, guys. How you doing? Welcome to another program, the series of What's on Your Mind. The program is produced by Breakthrough TV, and I am Carl. How are you? And don't forget, this is a live stream. I want to say thanks to all the guests we've had on our program, but I want to say a special thanks to Mr. J.D. Douglas. J.D. Douglas was on the program last week, and what a fantastic person he is. What a, what a scoop that was, i got to tell you. <laughs> Absolutely marvelous. And J.D. Douglas is a, is, is a writer of many, many scripts, you know what I mean? And he wrote the, the famous Black Heroes in the Hall of Fame. So if you have never seen that... Pro, that, 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 that interview, go and check that interview because it was a marvelous interview. And we're planning on having him back in the studio very, very soon. We're gonna work, we've been working on something else and he's going to be back in the studio. Let me say thank you, J.D. Douglas. Absolutely marvelous. And he's, uh, he says he's just one of the kind, which I can see now, you know what I mean? Um, as I say, that, that program was just history being made with J.D. Douglas. Absolutely marvelous. And as I say, let me say thanks to Mr. Carlos Gabidan. Big, big shout out to you. Hope all is well with you. Also want to say a big shout out to Mr. Momo Watt. How you doing, Mr. Momo Watt? Check out Mr. Mr. Momo Watt music. And also, I want to say big belated birthday to Mr. Lindell Lewis. Mr. Lindell Lewis is one of the UK leading producers. So check out Mr. Lindell Lewis. Absolutely marvelous. I hope one day we can actually tune up with him here on Breakthrough TV and get an interview. But I know I've been told he doesn't like the camera. <laughs> Well, that's that's sometimes, you know, you can respect that, you know what I mean? For those of you who possibly like the camera, should I say that? Yes, I am going to say that. For those of you who possibly like the camera, don't forget, you can you can come on the program, you know what I mean? If you take, if you if you got something to share or you want to talk about something or you want to talk about your journey in music or whatever journey you want to talk about, hook us up and we can actually do an interview. Or if you're doing something in the community, so we can also talk about it, you know what I mean? And also this week I've got no guests in the studio, but we've got a special report because we actually went down into Hansworth Park on Sunday and we talked to a lot of people down there at the, the, the unveiling of um, Benjamin Zephaniah uh, Memorial. So we'll actually be talking to a lot of those people and showing you little clips of the people that we've actually been talking to down there in Hansworth Park. So that's coming up in the second half of the show. So keep it locked to that. And I want to say a big shout out to all you guys that was down there at Hansworth Park on Sunday. My days, my days, my days. I got to say, I haven't been in Hansworth Park for many, many years. Well, I'd say probably, yeah, many years. I'd probably say about, probably about three years. Um, I know we was there in 2022. I think we was there in 2021 because we did the Simmer Down recording down there. Also the one with um, Third World. So we did that. That's still online. And um, I don't think we went last year, you know what I mean? So that, that was the last time we was actually in Hansworth Park. But that's how it goes sometimes, you know. As I said, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the program. Let me say a big, big shout out to all you guys, all my guests who's up on the show since we've been broadcasting, even as far back as the Car With The Sea show. That was the early, early ones that we actually did. If you, that's still the idea as well, the Car With The Sea show. And you can go and check that out. And that, that did just before, we did that just before the COVID. Actually, we've been broadcasting a long time, but I just realized, yeah, that was just before the COVID. And then we, we had to change the show because we couldn't have people in the studio. So that's why we ended up with a program called What's On Your Mind. So whether we have guests or we didn't have guests, I can still present the program on my own so it doesn't become a problem. <laughs> If you see, if you see what I'm saying, so that's how it looks. I just say big shout out to all you guys who actually send the program to you. Know what I mean? Let me say big, big respect. Cause sometimes I take the liberties and just send you the program. You know what I mean? Let me say big, big thanks for accepting the program. But I say don't forget all you guys who's not camera shy. As I repeat myself, if you want to take part in the program, you are quite welcome to do so. I want to say big shout out to Rose, Jane, Michelle, Sean, Colin, Donna. Big, big shout out to you. All my whole family, America. Big, big shout out to you. Canada, how you doing? Africa, how you doing? Jamaica, Jamaica. Can't leave you out, my little Jamaica. <laughs> I can't leave you out. And every time I say that, I laugh because I had such fun memories in Jamaica when I was actually growing up there. Absolutely marvelous. As you know, guys, I always look at a few things that's happening in the news across the world. And don't forget, I am not a news reader. And somebody would say, yes, I can tell you I'm not a news reader. But I just look at a couple of stories that are actually happening across the world. Now, the, US, the UN Secretary General urged the escalation in the Middle East. And he, he actually says, um, you've got to stop from going to the brink. 
And that is the troubles between the Middle East, between Iran and Israel. You know what I mean? So there, there's a lot of people actually being, you know, saying Israel has to hold back. You know what I mean? And the president of the United States, Joe Biden, in the Telegraph, according to the Telegraph, he's actually tell the Israeli prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, you've got a win. Take the win. Yes, that's what the Telegraph actually reported. And the U.S. will, he actually state in the, um, the Telegraph, the U.S. will not take part in any counterattack against Iran with Israel. So that is absolutely something else. They also, there, there's quite a few people that have been comments about this. Also, the, um, the president of South Africa, he's also said, we have warned about the situation. It has been going on for some time. There should not be any... This, they, this sort of thing should not be happening, the, the, South African, the South African PM said. He said it should not be happening, the regional conflict, when we know what occurs of the conflict. When, in other words, what he's actually saying, we know, we've seen it before, you know what I mean? We know what's the cause of it. And he says he calls on all parties to start the exhalation... The, to decelerate, you know what I mean, from getting into the deeper conflict. And he says it may go beyond, beyond the borders of just the Middle East, you know what I mean? So, and I say a lot of people are actually warning about that, um, that situation there. And the trouble about it, you see, we, we, we sort of say, oh, 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 oh what's going to happen, what's going to happen? But, you know, the, 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 big, the big problem is for us, or for myself, what I think about is like, personally, it's for my, well, your children, your grandchildren, your great great grandchildren, because you don't know what these guys are gonna get up to. You just don't know what they're gonna do. You know what I mean? It's all right. Everybody says, "Oh, uh, um, Israel should hit back. Israel should hit back." But you don't know what's gonna happen, and that is the the, the 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 sad situation of it. And I think since I was born, or even with my parents was born, even though my parents are no longer here, I think this is actually the closest we're getting. We're getting closer and closer and closer to a very, 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 very bad situation, you know what I mean? And I still don't know where my nuclear shelter is. Do you know where your nuclear shelter is? That is a question. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the program. Now, moving on. A man has been arrested in London on suspicion of murder. And Mr. Iwe, Iwaha was actually murdered. He was knifed near Tottenham Hotspur football ground. He was knifed last Sunday. And as I say, a man has been detained since Wednesday. So we um, we see what happens to that. And as I said, that is another situation where knife crime is actually taking place again. Now, let me go to United States, Georgia. Now, an old harbor woman from Jamaica has been shot dead in Georgia by her ex-boyfriend. Miss Simmons has been a very, very popular lady, both in Old Harbor in Jamaica and with her friends and the, the people in Old Harbor in Jamaica are actually mourning for this very, very well-loved loved young lady. However, her boyfriend is actually on the run, so the police are actually um, searching for him. She was actually shot in the head, and uh, that is one of those very, very serious situations that's actually going on there. And he, as I say, he's, he is the suspect, and as I say, he's, dis he's, done run on, he's done a runner, and they still haven't been able to find him. Yeah, it's so sad. When you actually see that sort of thing actually happens, yeah. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the program. Now, the Jamaican Court of Appeal is to meet on the 10th of June to decide if dancehall artists, Vibes Cartel, and the others ought to be released or to face a retrial. And they say, and this is for the murder of Clive Lizard. Williams. And that's case been going on for quite some time. And a lot of people got a lot to say about this, um, the, the, what is going on here. So we'll see what the Jamaican um, justice will actually come up with. Now, Windrush. Now, a Windrush victim finally is back in the United Kingdom. After 70 years. He was, the, he was been out of the country for 40 years. He is actually 70 years old. And he was exiled to the Caribbean. Richard Black um, lived in England from the age of six. And he was wrongly deported and lo lost his citizenship by the Home Office in 1983 over what they say is passport error. 
And in a decision that has left him out of the country for 40 years. And he was in exile with nowhere else to go. I think he was actually living in Trinidad at one period of time. But as I say, he is back in the UK now. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the program. Now, the Jamaican Custom Agency are reminding people Bringing personal items into Jamaica that's imports over the cost of 100 US dollars will attract custom charges. So look out for that because they've actually, they've actually changed the rules. And um, I, think, I think it was less than that some, 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 some many years ago, but they've actually changed in the rules now. So um, those of you who are traveling back and forth to Jamaica, they've changed the rules and the, the custom charges. So, Please look out for that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the program. Now, Ethiopia. This is interesting because Ethiopia government said they are actually committed to supporting AI products to achieve excellence in a lot of products. And they, are, they, they, they said they are embracing it. And they also said this will actually help Africa and the whole African continent. And no, a lot of people's got different things about AI. A lot of people talk different, differently about AI. But AI is actually fu the future. And we as a people, I know what someone is going to say, but we as a people need to embrace technology because we're going to left, be going to be left far, far, far behind because we've already seen it. So we actually need to embrace technology. We see some of those technologies going on in certain parts of the Middle East. That is the technology that actually is going on in there. That, that, that AI technology. So we actually, and AI is, is a good thing in some sense. And other time it is a bad thing. So we actually need to sort of embrace it and get going with it, you know what I mean? And learn all of what we can about it. Because if you don't learn about these things, sooner or later the man with the iron boot is going to step in your head and mash you up. It's the reality. It's the, re it's the reality. It's, it's the reality. And they say strange things, you know what I mean? They say strange things AI can do. I like, I heard a lot of people say, oh, I'm not going to embrace this technology. I'm not going to embrace that technology because we even, we even ask people to come on this show. And they says, oh, I'm not going to come on this show. I'm, I guess I got to say most of the people we actually ask to come on this show, yes, they've always said yes. Big, big shout out. But the one odd people that says, oh, no, no, no. And the one odd people just, they, they don't, they, they, they just don't bother. Because they says, okay, um, if I come on the program, everybody's going to know who I am. Or the technology, people going to know where I live. Listen, from you got a car, from you got a phone, <laughs> from you got a computer, they already know where you are. <laughs> so if you, don't, if you haven't grasped that technology yet, you know what I mean? From you go to the doctor, I give you a date of birth, even though they say you're private, your, your records are supposed to be private. They know who you are. The first thing you phone up your doctor, and this never used to happen, but the first thing you phone up your doctor, the first thing they ask you is, what's your date of birth? And straight away they find you. Now, in the early days, when I go to my doctor, this never used to happen. But you see, they can't find you anyway. So, I mean, I know your medical records. I'm just using that as a, I know, I know your medical records. Are, are safe, you know what I mean? That's what they said. The data and your medical records are safe. But I'm just, I'm just showing you the point. All you people who says, oh, they, they, they can't find you, they can't find me, they can't find me, they can't find you. Because if you got a mobile phone, you know, sometimes, I, I, I'll give you an example. Sometimes I go out, right, and I, I will go into a shop. I go into a shop, right? Um, doesn't matter what shop is. I go into a shop. Say, so I go to a, a clothes shop, a well-known clothes shop. And I go into the clothes shop, I just looked around the shop and I haven't bought anything. I haven't bought anything. And within like a couple of minutes, I come out of the shop, or about five minutes later, all the things on, on, that I'm looking for pops up on my phone. Have you ever seen that? You're going to say, say you're going to one of the big, the, the big stores, like say, say, say let, let's for instance, I'm not going to name any names. Say one of the big stores, a favorite store of yours. You go into the store and then you look around it and you look around it and you haven't bought anything. And all of a sudden, you notice you come out of the shop, about 15, 20 minutes later, this product from the shop pops up on your phone. How does that happen? 
<laughs> yes, you see what I'm saying? Tell me that you haven't noticed that. If you say you haven't noticed that, then you're not living in the real world. <laughs> so it's amazing what your phone can do. And say, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the program. Now, entertainment. Now, entertainment. Young YG Marley, Bob Marley's Grand Marley grandson. Bob Marley grandson actually stepped on stage in the Coachella um, concert in the United States. And I think he's actually going, like, what they say, he's got sort of one, one, sort of one tune to his name, but he actually did very, very well, you know what I mean? He actually did. And he stepped on stage with his mother, the legendary um, Lauren Hill, and also Wycliffe Jean of the Fugees, and Buster Rhymes was also on stage with him. Now, this looks like a little mini, a mini, I know Buster Rhymes was not in the Fugees, but this looks like a min little mini reunion of the Fugees in because you got Lauren Hill there and you got Wycliffe Jean there, you know what I mean, which is absolutely great. Two of my actually favorite artists. I actually love Lauren Hill, absolutely fantastic. So, um, as I say, um, Buster Rhymes, so that could be like a little mini, 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 mini reunion of the, um, the Fugees. It'd be good to see that as well, because the, the Fugees was such a fantastic group, you know what I mean? They were such outrageous. They were so they were so ahead of their time. It's a shame they actually um they actually finished. Yeah. As I say, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the program. Now, also, the Marley Brothers. Now, the Marley Brothers is all set to hit the road. And they haven't hit the road for all together, all of them together for say about 20 years. Now, Ziggy Marley, Stephen Marley, Junior Marley, Kimani Marley, and Damian Marley, the sons of the legendary Bob Marley, is set to do a legacy tour in 2024. They haven't been together, toured together, since 2004. And they say they start an, a North American tour very, very soon. That should be very, very interesting. I'd say that absolutely marvelous. Now, before I, before I actually move on, I want to have a little rant, because I haven't had a rant for a little rant time. Right, so I'm going to have a little rant um, before I actually talk about my next story. Now, a little rant. Now, now car drivers, I don't think this, I don't think those people who travel a lot in a car, I've got their own transports. I've got my own transport, I should say, also. But occasionally, I, um, I use public transport. Something very, very interesting that, that I use when, when I use public transport. Not often, but it happens occasionally. Because sometimes if I go to Birmingham City Centre, I can't afford the, the charges that the, the city centre charge me, so I'll just jump on the bus and I'll go to Birmingham City Centre. Now, I'm talking about something here very interesting, which is people who use the bus. And I'm talking about bus drivers and people who use the bus. Now, when I was, when I was in the 18, 19, that sort of thing, or before I start off in a car, what I used to notice is that when you go to the bus stop, or if you're running for a bus, the bus driver would stop. Or if you run up to the bus and you tap on the door, the bus driver would stop and say, come on in. When you're rushing up, running, you haven't reached the bus stop yet, and when you're woof, 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 running for the bus, the bus driver would wait for you. Now. I've noticed a couple, this hasn't happened to me because I don't run for any bus. The only time I run is when I'm jogging. <laughs> yes, it's when I'm walking and when I'm jogging. And I don't, as I say, I don't use the bus a lot. But what I notice, and a lot of people said it to me as well. I've, I've seen a lot of people actually saying this. The bus drivers, I'm just talking about West Midland bus drivers. The West Midland bus drivers now, I hope all of them is not like this. But when you run to the bus, some of them just carry on. <laughs> they're, not, they're not waiting for you. Some of them, they knock, I've, I've, people, people have said to me, they've knocked on the door just before the drivers um, go off. And the driver hasn't opened the door. The driver just drives straight on. So what I say to these people now is, is it that the bus drivers actually thinks they're driving a plane? <laughs> they're flying a plane. Because you know, when you, when you fly on a plane, once the door lock, yes? You can't, they're not going to open the plane door for you. Whether you're late or you're not late. So I think the bus drivers actually think they're actually plane drivers. So let, let us know if you ever noticed this. But I've, I've seen a lot of people and I've talked to a lot of people and they say exactly the same thing that I'm saying to you. 
And as I said, I'm talking about bus drivers in the West Midlands. I'm glad I'm not using the bus tonight. <laughs> uh, uh, today. So, uh, as I say, have you, have, have you noticed that? See, when I know the, the, the early bus drivers who like we call the early Windrush generation, they were so kind, you know what I mean? And, 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 and wonderful. And make sure you're all right on the bus and look after you, you know what I mean? Because uh, this is why I'm talking about this because I've, I've, I've met a lot of these older, older Windrush generation who used to be drive bus, you know what I mean? Because a lot of, a lot of West Indian people came here and the, the very first job they actually had was driving the bus. But if you never use a bus or you stop using the bus a long time, you probably won't notice this. But people who regularly use the bus, it is something that's happening in the West Midlands. The bus driver is not going to wait for you. If you run, 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 and knock on the door, and they're just about to move on, they're not going to say no. They're going to lock the door. They're still locking the door, and you can't get on. As I say, boo, they're flying a plane. <laughs> you know, I've been trying to get that one out for ages, i got to tell you. Because I just see, I, I go around, I go around, I'm still up in the bath and I'm still, you know, I'm still, I go around, I go around, I move around quite a lot. In fact, I can move around too much. So I notice things, and I, when, I, when I notice things, it's the same thing that I notice when, when, when you get on the bus. You've got a lot of people with mental health issues actually get on the bus. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. These people need help, you know what I mean? Or you've got a lot of people who get on the bus with... Um, or, or, or trains, you know what I mean, with mental health issues. And they say, these people need help. There's nothing wrong with that. But I thought I'd just have a go at that today because, you know what I mean, as I say, because it takes me back to when I was young, you know what I mean? I know all the, 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 the drivers and the conductors. I don't think they had conductors when I was using the bus, but because um, I'm not at all. But all the drivers used to be so kind and, you know what I mean, they'd be able to so respectful. But nowadays, you know, the, 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 what I've noticed and what people tell me, it doesn't seem to be like that again. But I must say as well, it's not an easy job, and the road is probably very, very tough. You know what I mean? And um, they probably have very, very stressful time with um, with um, you know, with passengers anyway. So, put your opinion up and let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the program. You see, I'm also the poor man's champion because <laughs> I'm poor myself, <laughs> and it's no use me showing off and says I'm rich because I'm not rich. I'm poor myself. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. But I'll, I'll, be, I'll be interested to know what you are, what you think is right. Right, I've got to move on. Now, a mural to honor um, the legendary Benjamin Zephaniah has opened in Hansworth Park on Sunday. And there was a lot of people down there in Hansworth Park, you know what I mean? A lot of people I haven't seen for quite some time. And this was actually a wonderful mural of the, um, a wonderful mural of the brother, you know what I mean, um, the, uh, what they actually call himself the community champion, which is absolutely marvelous. And a lot of, I say a lot of people was there, we had, we had local people, we have quite a few artists that was down there, and a whole range of people there. So we're gonna try and get you some of these interviews and um, look at some of the interviews that we have and, um, and, and see how we go with that. And don't forget, these interviews will actually, we, we, what we actually did, we actually did, when we did it, it was a live, it was live. So the, the, the internet wasn't actually very, very good down there, I mean, and the, the, the Wi-Fi and that sort of thing wasn't actually very good. So what we're going to do is going to edit the whole program and actually re-put it out, you know. But we're going to try and show you a couple of these clips and um, that's what you think. And, you know what I mean, just to, get, just to celebrate the life of, um, of Benjamin, you know what I mean, which is absolutely marvellous. Okay. want to say a big shout out to Mr. Hector. How you doing? Hope all is well with you. And um, all you guys who actually tune into the program, let me say a big, big thanks to you. And I hope all is well with you. And um, Girlene, how you doing in the United States? I hope all is well with you. The first clip we're going to try and get is, um, I'll see how, how, how we do with this. And we try and get up, um, Sister Marcia, Sister Marcia. And she actually knows a lot about um, Mr. Benjamin Zephaniah. We're going to try and see if we can get that clip up now. And um, see. Let, let's see what Sister Marcia oh, you, has afternoon. to say here. I'm, I'm actually elated to be here. I mean, this is, we're grateful that the weather has yes. held up. But what a fantastic, yeah. beautiful moment this Most is that we're having the chance to recognize and keep that legacy of Benjamin Zephaniah. Tell us a little about Benjamin Zephaniah. Poet, Poets. international star, activist, yes. humble, yeah. uh, community-based, uh -huh. 
kept his roots here in well, Handsworth. And I've, read, and I've read his autobiography and yeah. it's absolutely fantastic because you've got some lovely, fantastic references to Handsworth yeah. in terms of the parks where yes. he used to play, yes. um, Thornhill Police Station. When you're reading his book, it's almost like you're in the Handsworth area. <laughs> it it's is so wild. real. It is wild. Like he's, he's never forgot his roots. Never forgot never his roots. roots. And tells it as it is. And so what we've got is a gentleman who put his mouth walked the walk, yeah. went on activism, went internationally to different parts of the world, um, Palestine, South Africa. And what's so fantastic is that as humble as he is, he was able to elevate to those people like Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Now, I mean, Nelson Mandela actually asked him to host um, a, 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 how can I put it, a massive event he was having. That's right, that's right. Nelson Mandela asked Benjamin Zafaniah. Yeah. And it's fantastic, actually, because Nelson Mandela is the key theme on this walk that we have here in Handsworth. Marvellous. So it's fantastic. Marvellous. Thank you, Marcia. And you're from Black Heritage. Black Heritage Walks walk. Network. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. you very much. Okay. Wonderful, Marcia, the guys here we have, which is... That was a, which is a wonderful master there, which is absolutely marvellous, you know what I mean? Got to try and come through. Another wonderful... That, great, great to say, say that was Marcia. And um, Marcia have actually been on this programme before, and she does wonderful work in our community. Wonderful lady. Um, and say, it was a great day down there in Hansworth Park on Sunday. A little bit windy, but it was good, you know what I mean? It wasn't too bad. And I, I talked to one artist. Hello, sir. Hello. What is your, Hello. What is your name? <laughs> what is your name? I talked to one artist who was actually um, saying that he has to wear a coat <laughs> because it felt a little bit cold. The next person I'm going to hoping to talk to is Benjamin Zephaniah's wife. Name? Oh, my name is Chen Zephaniah. Uh, okay, Chen. Benjamin Zephaniah's wife. Be honored. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. So how you been? I'm okay. Yeah. Well, you know, last year it was a tough year for Benjamin and I. Yes. I almost died. Actually, last year this time mm -hmm. I was dying and Benjamin was trying his all hard to rescue me. Yeah. And yeah, so, you know, it's just uh, it's last year in, in, in November diagnosed a tumor. Yeah. We replaced our situation. I tried to look after him yeah yeah and it's great you're here because you're looking so well isn't it and thank you you've recovered so well yes well yeah you know like uh, why we are here yes. is because people can feel benjamin's energy mm -hmm. and i feel benjamin's energy yeah. he put hope and put energy on me and on all of us yes yeah so yes. now i'm good i hope Everybody can feel the spiritual word from Benjamin. Marvelous. Feel the energy. Marvel. And he was such a great man, so inspiring. Yes, definitely. That's why now there are lots of people coming here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, when I came here, yes. I took a photo with him. He's like, he's still with me. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can recognize that. The height and the clothes, all Benjamin's. Uh, he's still with you, of course. Yes, uh. he's always with me. He's always with us. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely marvelous. Thank you very much. Thank have, you. Have a good day. Thanks. You too. You and too. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yes. you. Bye. Bye. Absolutely. Right, guys. Lady so, here. Benjamin Zephaniah's wife, and I'm um, so what a strong lady, and what a great support, and to turn out and celebrating that event there was absolutely marvelous. It takes a very very strong person to do that, and we say big thank you for allowing us to talk to her. It was absolutely marvelous. Yes. The next person we have is possibly a friend of Benjamin Zephin Naya. See what we got coming up. Don't forget guys to like, share and subscribe to the program and you can leave your comments in the box. Yeah. Yes, Karen, yes, Karen. Yes. Um, I want you to share your memories of Benjamin Zephin Naya for me. My, what are your memories? My memories goes back a long way because I actually met Benjamin and knew Benjamin okay. in London okay. when he first started and yeah. he did publish his first book, Pen Ribbon, no. Pen Ribbon at, at the Whole Food. Yeah. And um, so I remember he used to ride a bike then. Wow. And we used to have lots of chats and stuff because he was also a very good friend of my friend. Uh -huh. So I've known him quite a long time, since the 80s really, right, yeah. in London. Yeah. And um, we've kept in touch bit by bit. Mm -hmm. but 
The last time I saw him was actually in um, Neil's yard in London. We had a good talk, <laughs> yeah. and he'd been married down there and stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and he used to run in the park, in the local park where we were in, mm. in Stratford, yeah. over um, Wonstead Park. He used to run there every morning, and he was always into looking after himself, healthy, healthy food. But also, Benjamin actually had a group at that time. Is it? He used to play music. Because yeah, I, I, I know he sings, and he yeah, knows the oh folk, yes, and he's oh yes. got a rap. Yeah. I remember going to one of his gigs with his band. Yeah, what was that like? That, that was amazing, absolutely amazing. So it's... Uh, it goes right back, but yeah. I mean, I've always, you know, I've always respected him. He's a, he's a great guy, lovely yeah, guy. Yeah, got yeah. a couple of his um, his books, publications, yeah. yes. and one I got for my grandchildren is uh, Penrith. It's called um, um, Funky Chicken. Yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> It, it's funny because I, I broadcast an experience called I broadcast a radio station called Yusa Radio, and when he when he actually passed, yeah. I was I was literally on the air and okay. I heard the news, oh. and I was, I was I was thinking of a track to play, and the only track I could actually play was about the, the turkey. Yes, yes, the, that's, that's, right, about, yes. that's right. Yeah, turkey, turkey, turkey. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and that, yes, that yes. lifted me up so much, oh, even though it was such a amazing, sad time. Absolutely, <laughs> and actually, you would not believe it. I've got grandchildren now, and when I was in because I lived in Stratford, obviously, um, he, there was a sort of a, um, a magazine scene or something they did a poster mm. and it was something about Stratford that was um, like when the um, prior to the Olympics I think that's right and yeah. it was a big picture of Benjamin yeah. on one side and yeah. on the other side there's information about Stratford and I have still got that on my door behind my door in my room wow, so I, I was able to t tell my grandchildren about him yeah. so and of course when he died my granddaughter came to say you must be so sad with grandma yeah, yeah, because yeah. Uh, and I am because he was such a lovely lovely man and mm. A, a good person, you know. It is. It is. Yes. Yeah, really. Honestly, what a legacy has left. And what do you think of the? I think it's wonderful. It's, it's wonderful, isn't it? It's wonderful. wonderful. It and looks he's, like he's, he's never, he's, he's never, he's never left his roots. No, he never, never, never lost, left his roots. You know, and it's just wonderful. Really nice, lovely guy. Thank lovely you very much. Guy. Thank you. Thank you very Jason. much. Thanks. Okay. Hello. Karen there, telling us all about Mr. Benjamin Zephaniah. Yeah, absolutely great. I must say that um, when I heard the news, and we was, we was talking about that, um, when I heard the news about Benjamin Zephaniah, I was actually sort of, I heard it when I was actually on the air. And I say, um, I was thinking, because generally when, I, when, I'm, when I'm broadcasting, if I, get, if I heard that somebody died the day before, uh, you know what I mean, I will try and play a couple of their tracks, you know what I mean, just out of respect. I always done that since I've been broadcasting. And um, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I was actually doing that, um, I was trying to think, which song can I play? Which song can I play? And then I, I, I found that that song that our lady was actually talking about, the Funky Chicken one. And it was, up, it, I, had, I had to laugh, you know, because it, it sort of lifts me, even though it was a sad time, it sort of lifts me, you know what I mean? So it was absolutely great. And I'm, I must say, actually, guys, I actually broadcast on New Star Radio. And I, I, I must also clear this up. New Star Radio is still broadcasting, regardless of the rumors. You know what Gregory has actually said? Rumors. So broadcast right, New Star Radio is still broadcasting. We've been brought, we have never been off here. You know what I mean? We've been broadcasting for since we've been on air. I mean, we we are not on the on the on the on the FM anymore because we, we are on, we're online for a while. But we're still broadcasting, and um, our, we we've got our DJs. We got quite a few of our DJs still here at New Star Radio. We got the ranking Fescos, We got Denko. We got Mr. Mary. We got Paul Rubin. We got Mauricio. We got some. Also got some. We got myself. We also got some new presenters, you know, we got DJ K. So we still got some, all of, a lot of our original producers are still here. We've lost a few, you know what I mean? We've lost some because of some ill health or some other reasons, you know what I mean? But um, quite a few of our presenters are still here. So we are still broadcasting. So I want to, uh, and, and, and I put this out there because last two weeks ago I was actually broadcasting and I mentioned a, a particular event that was actually happening in Hansworth. And somebody phoned me up and says, um, the phone at the radio station, and they said, we never knew New Star Radio was, we heard you just mentioned that event. We said, we never knew New Star Radio was still going. Yes, so we're still broadcasting. And that's all they, they actually heard. So people are still listening to New Star Radio. So we are on www.newstarradio.com. So check it out. And I, you can catch me there. Thursdays and Fridays from 3 till 6, Car with a C. That's when I become Car with a C, the drive time show. <laughs> And somebody say, oh, I hear his car with a C. No, we never knew that. <laughs> now, let me move on. Hoping to talk to Benjamin Zephaniah. Um, let, let's see what we've got here. Let's go with this. We've got a young, got a young man here. He's going to tell us 
I think he actually did a poem. Um, really, he's he's, he's my favourite poetry writer. Okay. I've come from William Murdoch Primary School. Yes. And I just wanted to do a little poem for him and a, spe a speech for him as well. Okay. Because he really touched my heart when uh, he passed away as well. Yeah. So um, today go, I'm doing a poem. Go, go for it. I'm doing a poem today called Vegan Delight by Benjamin Zephnar, who has sadly passed away. But this was a tribute for him. That's why I'm going to do it as well. But it just really touched my heart when he passed away because really I, I, I always listen to his poetry as well because it really makes me cry as well. Yeah. When like vegan delight, talking turkeys as well. It's really good what he's been doing with the Hansworth community as well. Like everyone knew him as well and he was a really good poetry, a poet, a poetry to Hansworth. And I really hope you all give your condolences to him. Thank you. My name is Subhan Sarah and I come from William Murdoch Prime School. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely great. That there is a brave young man and such a clever lad. And he sounds so good. Absolutely marvellous. It was, it was, he actually did it something else. You know what I mean? And he read, he read a poem out. It was absolutely great. You know what I mean? And it was good to see all those young people there as well. You know what I mean? Paying respects how Benjamin Zephaniah has influenced them so much, which is absolutely marvellous. Absolutely great. And as I say, guys, as I say, don't forget to leave your message. You know what I mean? And as I say, this is a special program. which are playing respect to one of Birmingham's best, Benjamin Zephaniah. Also got his sister here, Millie. Mil Benjamin Zephaniah's sister here, who is Millie. How you doing, Millie? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Well, you know, it's a hard year still, but yes. I've, got to, I've got to be strong. So I'm the second eldest. And what a good day this is with all these people here. A beautiful day. Look at the weather. It was us. Benjamin's day, isn't it? It is Benjamin's day. Definitely. Tell us a little bit about your, 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 your sister. Tell us a little bit more about Benjamin and being a sister. Well, when we were growing up, Benjamin was just like um, the big brother who used to look after us, tell you the truth. Okay. So when we had any tra um, problems at school, we'd come and deal with the people. And But he, he wasn't a vicious per person, I should say. He was a humble man and he was just... He was just... What can I describe him? He just um, he looked after his brothers and sisters, and he loved us dearly and my mum. Yes. I have to keep getting that one in. He loved mummy so till couldn't love her anymore. He gave her anything she wanted, and he just loved his family. Marvelous. But yeah. And those are your fond memories of him. My fond memories. He just he just, lo he just looked after us. Marvelous. Oh, what do you think? What do you think of the, the, the oh art? Oh my gosh! I came yesterday today. and I was taking photos yesterday. Yes. Me and my daughter, my grandson. Yeah. And it's just amazing. It's just. It's a fitting tribute to a champion of yeah, champions, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you very Keep much. Keep enjoying this, this celebration. Thank you. Thank you very much, Millie. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Millie there. Millie is a wonderful person. We had a chat before we actually did that, and I've never met her before. And she's such a pleasant and kind and wonderful lady. As I said, we had a great chat before we actually um, did the interview. And I say, she's such a strong lady as well. And it's good to see that. It's good to see two people. It's good to come across people like that, which is absolutely marvelous. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the program. Yeah. Let's see what we've got next coming at next. This is, wow. This is Asha B from the Big Ship Alliance. Alliance, could you go that side of me, please? <laughs> Now, Asha, I know you would have been known, Benjamin Zephaniah, so much because, you know, we come from sort of the same neighborhood, almost. Yes, yes, so tell yes. Us, tell us about your recollection of Benjamin. Well, I know him from um, school days. Yes. From and what school, school was this? A school named Canterbury. Oh, Canterbury. Yes. Yeah. So, that, I'm showing up my age now. <laughs> yes. Right. But we know each other from those times. I know his whole family and yeah. so, so, even when he became a poet and so, you know, yeah. we always keep the links and yeah. we're good brethren as musicians, as poets and everything. Oh. So, you know what I mean? It'd be sadly miss. Yes. Sadly miss. Oh, what are your fond memories of him? My fond memories? <laughs> um, <laughs> well. The last, the, the last time I had a joke, uh, I guess a joke from him, he was on TV, you know, talking, they was talking about Christmas. Yes. So he said, Christmas time, he go out and hug up the tree them uh, uh, and look at the squirrels them. Yeah. So the presenter kind of look on him strange and Benjamin look on it, look on the presenter and say, oh, uh, me have a problem with squirrels. So <laughs> that was kind of a, a funny joke to me, you know, because, um, 
you know, I know that he's, he loves nature and he loves, um, yeah. you know, yeah. um, naturality. Great. You know what I mean? So, and, it, and it's a very, very big crowd here today. The, the, yes. The, the turnout is, is fine. Yes, yes. yes. And yes. let me ask you, I always ask, what do you think of the, 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 the mural here? Well, it's a great work of art. It's a really great work of art and it's down in history now, yes. you know what I mean? So hopefully, you know, even the next generation, generations to come can really see, you know, the power of this, the person, power of this person and what he did in his lifetime yes. and what he can achieve, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? As a human being yeah. with a black, white, Chinese or Indian, you know, but he did something very great for our community, yes. you know what I mean, and shed a good light on the community and in the world as well, you know. Thank you, yeah, Asha. Man. Asha B from Big Ship Alliance. Big shout out to you, sir. Yes, Thank sir. You. Have blessings, a good day. Blessings. blessings. Thank blessings. you. Right, guys. Asha B there. Big thanks. Absolutely marvelous. I want to say th big, big shout out to all you guys from the Big Ship Alliance. Maureen, how you doing? Robbie, how you doing? Mr. Gibb, I think how you doing? Skin. Wow. Long time skin, big shout out to you and all the rest of you guys in the Big Ship Alliance. And don't forget, you can check out Big Ship Alliance, you know what I mean? They're, they're always doing summits, a wonderful group, so go, don't check them out. Yeah, so it was actually great chatting to Asha B there. Yeah, and um, we've got to say we got quite a few clips. Um, my next artist is Tipper Ire, and Tipper Ire was doing a show in Leicester on Saturday night. And he took the time out to come to Birmingham on Sunday. So let's we are hear what Tipper have to say. Right. right, guys, got the great Mr. Tipper Ira here. <laughs> How you doing, Tipper? I'm all right, you know, I'm good. I, I was in Birmingham, well, I was in Nottingham last night. Yes. And I came down, and so I knew that this was happening today. Yes. So I thought to myself, you know what, I have to come and pay my respects because Benjamin is somebody that I really respect so much. He, um, you know, he's even in my book. Hi, folks. We'll you know be starting I mean? in about 10 minutes, so if you want to grab All a right, drink, sorry. grab a samosa, sorry, people. we got inside yeah, the building. We'll be starting in But yeah, he's, he's actually in my book. My new autobiography, Stick to My Roots. So, yeah. So he, he's, he's a big influence on your, yeah, on your biography. Yeah, definitely, man. Have you ever met Benjamin? Yes, man. Yes, man. We've, done, we've been on the same bill a couple of times. Yes. You know, I think the last one we did was actually in Liverpool. Yes. So, you know, he's a real, you know, really hurt me when I heard that he passed away, you yes, know what I'm yes, saying? Yes. So, you know, really painful. But yeah, he's a blessing, you know, he's a lovely man. What was you say your, your good memories of him? What are good memories of him? Well, he's it's, just, it's just, yeah, he's just left so much, you know what I mean? Because obviously it's his work, it's, yes. it's, it's what he stood for. Yeah. And, you know, things like him um, turning down MBE and OBE and all these things, right. it just tells you what kind of person the man is. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I actually listened to that thing when he, he gave you the reason why he actually turns it down. Yeah, and yeah. he said you could embrace oh. that legacy nah. where we fight so much. That's right. For it. And That's I, right. I, 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 I sort of really understand that compared to you know those who sort of deal yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That's so you understand right. that. Yeah, he's definitely a man of his word and a man that you know stands up for his beliefs. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. And you know if somebody's oppressing you for so long and no, oppressing their, his people for so, so long why should he accept the honors from them noise. you know what i mean you know tell us about your work because you've got the, you've, you've got a great album out yes book, I got, well i got i'm an african it, out at oh, the moment it's my latest I, album okay, and then obviously i got stick to my roots is my autobiography which is telling the story of my life yes you know what i'm saying and um, I've got another album out called UK Dance or Pioneer. Okay. That's out as well. Right. So, yeah, I'm busy, man. I'm busy and things are happening. So, I'm, I'm grateful. Tipper, good to see you again. Thank you, my brother. Bless up. Thank Bless you. up. Bless yes. up, man. Right, guys, the great Tipper Irie there. Right to you. Big shout out to you, Mr. Tipper Irie. As I said, guys, if you just got the program, we're paying respect to our own Benjamin Zephaniah. We, done, we was in Hansred Park on Sunday and we had a Quite a few different interviews with different people talking about their experience and their association and when they met the great man or who've met the great man and what they're actually saying so we're actually playing that clips of him so let we see what comes up next i think we've got um mr hans Wirtz, mr hans Wirtz, also known as hector <laughs> he's actually a great brother let's see if we can get this up yeah absolutely marvelous Mr. Hansworth. Mr. Hansworth has been around for quite some time. In fact, when I trace my history, which I never knew, I think he actually lives 
in my early days, he actually lives parallel to the road that I actually lived on. And I never knew. And his family actually lived parallel to the road that I used to live on. And I never knew. And I never knew for a long, long time. <laughs> You know, which is absolutely, actually, sometimes you, you can be so close, but yet, so far, what they say, it is a very, very small world. Well, I say, big shout out to you, Hector. Hope all is well with you. Girlene, how you doing? Um, Jeanette, how you doing? Big, big shout out to you. All you guys who tune into the program, the Bailey family, the Williamson and family, Mr. Hansworth himself. I've been fortunate to travel to some different cities and different countries whilst I've been studying, but I've always had my heart here in Handsworth. Speaking to friends and family, speaking to friends and family on Soho Road, Benjamin Zephaniah's name was a constant. Just a little bit of technical issue with that. You know what I mean? I say it was a live stream, and the, the internet wasn't very, very good in Handsworth Park, and the Wi-Fi. Was always struggling with it. I mean, so um, sometimes it plays up a little bit like that. But we'll see what we're gonna have to show next. And um, as I say, it was a great day. And um, the only thing is, um, I'm waiting for the sun now. You know, we need some sun. <laughs> it could have. I mean, it was a great day, but it could have been worse sunnier. So we waited for the sun. Hector, Mr. Sun Hansworth, Let's see if we get you're gonna tell me your title. What we're not having? No, I don't want <laughs> you to tell you my title. My name is. Mr. Hansworth himself. I know, the, I, know, I, know, I know the title is for everyone, as you say. That, that is correct. Right, so, how you doing? I'm not too bad. And tell us a little bit, Benjamin. Well, you see, Zephaniah. one of the things about Benjamin, when we were children, we know to roll, because I used to be a dancer back in the day. Oh. And most people know that I'm a dancer. I still dance up until this day, but Benjamin, is, oh, he also loves dancing, you know, but the thing that takes us back in the days is when I used to teach the martial arts. You know, it's about how we used to do Eli place to be. Okay. Lazelles and Aston, we had Aston Park and Andred Park that everybody used to stay there with the sound system. But it's, we're trying to find out how we can bring the family back. Okay. Now well, what do you think about this wonderful... Yes. Now that they've put this mural together, I don't want to see it in the dark. I would like to see it... I need to put some light on there now yes. so that it shines bright at night. Yes. And that is what we, we our aim is to try to get some light on this building at night so people can see what's happening. Yeah. Marvelous. But Marvelous. On behalf of the community, uh, the people who have organized it, we want to thank them very much for bringing people to Hansworth who have never been to Hansworth before to find out. We've got two grammar schools, also we've got a museum in Hansworth, but Benjamin is doing such a wonderful thing around the world, so we're shining the light on Hansworth any which way we can. With the poetry, with rhyme and music all the time, one and one makes two, and two and two makes four. Thank you, Mr. Hansworth. Make them come to the door. Ask for some more. Mr. Hansworth there, I like that. One and one make two, two and two make four. Make them come through the door. <laughs> That is great. I do like that. I gotta say, I've never heard that one before. Absolutely great. Absolutely great. You like you like things like that, don't it? Because it it makes you it makes you laugh. It makes you happy. Mr. Hans right there, and he's been doing what he does for a long time. A great brother. We say big big respect to him. Uh, Hector, and I know he's got a title. I can never remember his title. This wonderful lady. Her name is Dawn. Let's hear what Dawn has to say. Dawn. Dawn is one of the organiser um, of the whole event. Tell us a little about this. So basically I'm part of Black Heritage Walks Network and we run a series of Black Heritage Walks across Birmingham mm -hmm. and also here in the Hansworth area. Uh, we previously installed a mural, the Reggae Royalty one, here in Hansworth Leisure Centre. And then when we um, found out about Benjamin Zephaniah, we wanted to make sure we, we made a mark in the park uh, to honour his memory yeah. and also for, so give the chance for the community to celebrate um, his legacy. Yes. And what do you think of the mural? 
It's wonderful. Do you want me to um, tell you what it's all about? Yes, tell us, tell us what it's all about. Great. Okay, so, that, is, that would be good. Uh, just, just to let you know, we consulted with Benjamin Zephaniah's family. Yes. We also consulted with the, the Rastafarian community. Mm -hmm. We consulted with the whole of Hansworth and many, many big people. Of everybody's comments. Yeah. So we've got Benjamin Zephyr, not just about Peaky Blinders. Jimmy Jesus was a Caribbean Jamaican guy who yeah. came here in the First World War. Then you've got um, Benjamin Zephaniah, just as um, his, his, you know, all the things that he fought for for human rights, in terms of equality, in terms of people who've been disenfranchised within the community for years here in the UK and Benjamin Zephaniah was that people's champion and then over there in the, the, the final image is Benjamin Zephaniah as a dub poet, as a reggae artist and you can see the lyrics from Hansworth Unite so that we chose that one obviously because it's in Hansworth and because of the lyrics as, as, as special to the residents here in Hansworth and finally there's another poem that was chosen by the children we had um, did you see the children here earlier people support his legacy as well that's right that's right people who've never met him he's inspired called hunt emerson and if we if uh, i'm sure you yeah, we're all the same age we all used to read the beano comic Emerson was one of the cartoonists for the Beano comic wow. and he came out and he did his little bit on the mural as well. Yeah. So we're blessed. Great. Yeah. Emerson, thank, congratulations on the great, great work you've done. Yeah, thank okay. you. Have a good day. We want to apologise a little bit for that, guys. The, um, the internet problems in the park, we apologise for that. Because say, when you're in the park, sometimes you just can't get the right signal and that's how it is sometimes. So that, that was that why that interview was a little bit, you know, technical issues there, the internet, yeah. And I say, that was actually a wonderful young lady. We also got another wonderful person. Let me see who we got next. I don't see who we got extra coming at me. Yes, I know who this is. <laughs> I like what he says as well. The great Basil Dick Gabidan, co-founder of Steel Pulse. Mr. Gabidan, sir. So I'm here with this. Birmingham has report by the mural with a giant of music. <laughs> Is this Mr. Is this <laughs> Mr. Basil Gavidan, you're on the telly. How are you, Basil? I'm cold. Got, it's not that cold. Look, I've got, my, I've got my summer clothes on. It's going to be warm this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I come all, you know. Well, I got my coat on. I don't know jacket. And I should say, Basil Gavin is the founding member of Steel Pulse. Blessed, blessed. You know what? I walk in here, right? Yes. Up the top there, and I see Steel Pulse. Um, mural. mural. Yeah. 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 And uh, I go, bro, to look at that, man. When I was 15, it just threw me back to when I was 15. Yes. And yes. we and the park here every Sunday. Yeah. Every Sunday, the, um, the park was full of. Um, the community. That's right. You know? That's right. The, the, uh, the black community. You have sound system. You have people selling food over there and so on and so. On. It used. To, it was part of our culture. It was yeah. part of our way of life. Yes. And I'm saying to myself, what's happened to all that, that now? You know, oh, it's kind you, of. I the, used to drive in that car, sit at the bonnets. When it was about some of them, some of them who could afford that, you know. Yes. And uh, it, it, you know, it's just it was just amazing. So for me, um, I'm a little bit disappointed or uh, sad that our youngsters, those under the age of 30 I guess, yeah. or 25, mm -hmm. uh, don't have that same opportunity uh, to, co to communicate with our other brethren around the town, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. It's kind of, we've, we've sc scattered. Okay. Scattered. Oh, what do you think of this? Scattered. Is a tune coming out there? Scattered. What about the, uh, let's tell us about the, the mural of... Yes, my brethren. Tell us about the mural. <laughs> Tell us about the mural. Yeah. Hannah and Benjamin is a Is who I are you doing that? Again. Back again. Back again. Come on. <laughs> Back again. This brother, you're bad. This man is yeah. bad. 
I was, t- I was t- telling him about the, the steel pulse mirror. Yeah. I know you didn't do that one, but the one next to it. Yes. yes. Right? This this bread window. I did a video the other day. I did a tune the other day, you know, called Old Jaja. Yeah. You know. I spotted that. Yeah, you I see. I played that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I use a mirror, you know. I use a mirror. Yeah, of course. Just, yeah. Of course. You know, don't charge me shit, you know. Of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's for you, man. It's for you. It's for you. It's for people. For the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For so people. this brother here, he come all the way from London. Yes. Yeah. Well, I live here yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. He tried as well, you know. He tried. He tried. You know what I'm saying? So, big him up. So, yeah, well, I, I, we know it's, yeah. it's so, great work, isn't it? This, absolutely this, this, absolutely great. great. Uh, yeah. You know something I don't think fully see? Yeah. Take you, take you back away from the camera. What's the matter with you? Oh, yeah. You're a star. You've done this all the time. But, 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 but hear me now. Yes. I write a tune for the man, you know. Yes. I was very, very, I was very, very sad when I heard. I know we all have to go to the next journey. Yeah. Not go on the next journey. Mm. But I was very sad to hear because that man there, we started together. In right. a sense, Benji and Steel Pulse more or less started together. Mm. You know, was doing similar venues back in the day, you know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's another chapter. Yeah, it is another chapter. I mean, I you know what I'm saying? I in, mean, in fact, you guys here, you yeah. and the man behind the camera there. Yes. Yeah, everybody know who you are. Yes. You're the one, you're one of the next chapters. Yes. You understand? Yes. You know, they'll be they'll be doing videos and stuff about you two guys. You, I'm, you think I'm lying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you're documenting it, aren't yes. you? You're documenting okay. what's been going on. Yeah. You understand? That's right. So, That's right. You know, big up yourself, you yes, know? Right. Thank you very much. And so, yes. um, why have you decided to <laughs> big up Hansberg? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have decided to pick up Yes. Well, you know, I lived, I lived not very, very far from here. Yeah. When I first came to this country, I lived not very far from here. In fact, I lived in Los Angeles. Yes, I yes, lived in Los Angeles. Oh, yes, what I used to do first... The great Basil Gavidan there. It's absolutely marvellous. Um, great chatting to him. I'm also the, 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 the artist who was next to Basil coming. He's the artist. And I, I must big him up because his name is Bunny Bread. Big, big shout out to you, Bunny. And as I say, guys, don't forget, because we was having a lot of internet problems, the Wi-Fi wasn't very good in the park. Um, don't forget, we're going to upload, edit the whole thing and upload the whole video and you can watch it and you start radio live. You can check it out. Yeah. As I say, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the program. Got to see if we've got any more artists or any more people we're actually talking to in the park coming up. Let me say a big shout out to Maxine. Thank you. And um, thank you for sharing the program, telling us how much you like the program. And also, Hector, let me say a big, big shout out to you. June, let me say a big shout out to you. And all you guys who actually tune into the program, let me say a big, big shout out to you. And don't forget, guys, please share the program. You know what I mean? We're asking you, we're asking you to share the program. You know what I mean? Um, it's a fight. It's always a fight, you know, where we are concerned for some reason or another. So we're asking you to share. Share, like, and share the program so we can keep doing better and better all the time. And what we're doing, we're actually documenting things. You know what I mean? I guess I'll say we don't get any money. All this we're doing is volunteer. You know what I mean? And there's no money we've been made out of this. Any one of the program, we've done quite a few different programs out of, since we bought there. You know, there's no money being made out of it. We just do it because of the love and we're actually documenting it. Nobody is actually doing this, what you're seeing here. And when it goes on YouTube, it will be there. All the artists we see, we speak to, it will be always be there. It is being documented, and that is the way. It's all right, we talk about radio, 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 great radio, but when you do things on the radio, unless you record the music, it just goes. So this will always be there, and that is what we are doing. Yeah. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the program i was just trying to see if we got any more clips coming up if we haven't um i want to say um thank you for tuning to the program and um we'll be back here with another program next week and i say thank you for tuning and let me say thanks to all you guys who actually take the time out and watch the program don't forget we're back here with another what's on your mind Next week. God bless you. Take care. I am Carl. Producer, you work hard tonight. Big shout out to you. God bless. Take care.